Hey, you guys, SEK the Homesteader here with another video on beekeeping. All right, you guys, I'm going to make this quick. I did explain to you guys that we had this, uh, two hives that had swarmed. One had swarmed, came back. We had honey. We got a little honey, and then they left again. So we got another package that we're getting ready to load in the beehive now. So when you're loading your bees, what you want to do is have all your tools ready, flathead, your other uh, beekeeping tool, um, I forgot the name of it, this one, so that you can lift your staples out of the um, entrance of the bees. They have the staples in there, and then your queen is stapled down as well. So I can tip this so you guys can see. <clears throat> Excuse me, so you guys can see. And then when you are removing the uh, top cover, you want to unstaple your queen. Get your queen in between your frame, staple her in, and then you want to either leave your box in or you can shake it a couple of times. Don't shake it to harm the bees. Just pop them, pop them down, and then get the um, bees into the box as many as possible. And then you can actually leave this in. Come check on it a little later, maybe three to four hours later, and this should be emptied out from all the live bees. You may have some um dead bees you should have some dead bees in there don't worry about that um and then um you want to uh put your your sugar water in there if you have bee pollen uh patties you can also add that to the top so we're going to get these bad boys in their new home and hopefully we'll have success with um this package i plan on doing um a video on how to catch a swarm and being that we have about three four trees out here we're gonna actually attach the other um, boxes that we have to the trees and hopefully we'll be successful in catching our own swarm with our native bees, local bees to our area. So let's get to it and let's get these bees in their new home. Get the can out. So also, you guys, don't forget to remove your cans. Set that to the side. You know, they transportation sugar water. That may be a little bit challenging to get out as well. Can I get that, that, that? Yes. All right. Thank you. You didn't need to do all that, though. Put it over there. Just sit it on top of the frame. Um, well, they they're gonna be some that be, that be going. Shake, shake. Get ready to shake, shake and spray. All right, you guys, you also want to have handy dandy sugar water to calm them down and it it will actually help to keep them, get them a little sticky, but calm them down as well so that you can remove your queen. So now we're getting the queen out and we're gonna staple her in between uh, two of the frames. But first we have to remove the cork so that they can eat the candy and release her. Stop. 
Well, she stapled down. Mommy, you gotta get the staple. I got the staple. Yeah, you can get the crown, bitch. Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Put the hose in between the corners. Gotta make sure. All right, you guys. So make sure when you're removing your cork, you take the cork out where the candy is not. As you can see, the candy is here, so you want to take the cork out this end. Do not make a mistake and bring the cork out of this end, okay? Because you want them to be able to eat the candy to release her. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. No. You want the cork to come out of the sugar end so that they can enter and eat the sugar on this end. So scratch that out. My bad, you guys. It's kind of hot out here. So take the end cork where the sugar is at. Okay, copy. If you wasn't going to hear those words, you should have told me when I took it from there. Make sure you get all of it out. It's out. Get some, get some hands. Get the staple going. Stop standing there. No, you want to you want to lay it like that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I seen people do it the other way. Yeah. Too. Let's see. All right, you guys, we stapling her in. all right guys so what we're gonna do is actually allow the bees to come out we don't want to bang them too much because you can't damage your bees from the banging um so you want to you know give them a light shake And eventually they will calm down and they will come back in a couple of hours to see put the um sugar cane on that side so they have something and, that one. 
And then you could use your sugar can because it still should have a good amount of sugar water in there. And if you have water already, you can add that as well. And they should be fine. So you just want to leave them, leave them alone and let them get adjusted to their new home. Make sure your doors is open a little bit, your entry doors for them. Um, no, you don't want to do that. You don't want them open you too you much. Don't open, you don't want to open them too much because they're vulnerable to other bees yeah. to killing the hive. So you want to keep a... Uh, you want to keep a hole kind of small so they can protect the queen. Right. All right, you guys. So that is our video on how to load up your package um, bees. And again, um, I will definitely bring you guys updates on this. And we're going to do a, a lot better as far as keeping up with uh, feed and giving, you know, keeping good watch over them. All right, you guys. This is SEK The Homesteader. I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you thumbs up. And I will see you real soon. Peace.